want to talk about something that's really essential you want to learn if you want to play lead guitar. Okay, the subject of this video is unison bends. Okay, I'm going to explain what unison bends are. Okay, unison bends are when you fret a note with one finger and then you use, in this example, we're going to be using our third finger to bend a pitch of a, diff of a different note up to the note that you're originally fretting. So I'm going to call the note that I'm fretting, we're going to be doing these exercises all on the bottom three strings, or the top three strings, three lightest strings on your guitar. So in this example, I'm going to fret my target note with my first finger, and in this example I'm going to be using the B string on the third fret. And I'm going to fret a second note with my third finger, because our third finger is normally going to be, going to be our strongest finger. And I'm going to fret that note on the fifth fret of the G string, which is the string right above it. Okay, now it's going to sound like this before we do anything. Okay, now why they call these unison bends is because we're going to bend this note up to the correct pitch of our target note, which is the note we are fretting with our first finger on the third fret on the B string. Okay, so when we do a correct unison bend, we're going to go like this. We're going to bend, bend it all the way up until it reaches the correct pitch. So now, that's not our official start of the exercise. We're going to do another unison bend, and this one's going to involve our first finger on the third fret of the top E string on the third fret. And our third finger is going to skip two frets, okay? So this is a slightly different shape than the original one, and it's going to go on the sixth fret of the B string, okay? That's what they sound like together. They don't sound that great, right? That's why you need to bend. Bend your, your third finger, bend the note up into the target note that you're playing with your first finger, like this. Okay? Keep doing that. Oh, there we go. Okay, this does a lot of things for your hands. See, I've been playing 20 years and this is still... Got it? Keep going. Try again. Ooh, there we go. There we go. All right. So now that we know the first bend I showed you, which we're going to call that bend number one, and the other one's going to be called bend number two for this demonstration, okay? So what I want you to do for this exercise, if you can keep up, because this video is for people that are just starting out, is I want to do bend number one and bend number two right after each other and we're going to start them out like this okay i know it's difficult if you first starting to play your fingers are going to hurt keep going let's do it keep going come on ladies keep doing it you got to keep doing it that is worthwhile doing is usually hard at first, okay? Okay, we're still on the first two bends. Bend number two. Bend number one. Bend number two. Okay? Bend number one. Bend number two. Okay, now these exercises. 
exercises are pretty important because for one it really helps strengthen the fingers on your left hand okay until you can really do these types of bends you're not going to have very much luck on playing lead guitar unless you're strictly a jazz player a jazz player doesn't really do these types of bends at least not a uh, classic jazz player okay so you might say I'm having trouble my fingers are hurting okay that's completely normal that's something you're gonna have to work with okay because learning guitar is like a physiological experience you know it's not just mental it's not just memorizing scales it's a real physiological thing where you really have to to uh, you really have to develop the calluses on your hands on your fingers the tips of your fingers okay in these exercises we're only using our first finger and our third finger we could be using our pinky but we're gonna we're not gonna use that for now okay all right so we did it starting with our target note on the third fret of uh, the beach on the B string you know and so now we're gonna just move it all up one fret and we're gonna do this all up the fretboard and you're gonna find that as you move these bends up the fretboard they're actually going to require less effort on your bending finger to reach your target note okay so let's start on the fourth fret <laughs> Holy moly. Well, I'm holding. 
holding up pretty good, but these, this exercise will make your fingers feel kind of bad at first, you know, if you haven't played guitar, but this is something you really need to learn. You know, you should practice it every day. If you can make it to the end of the video, that's great, okay? So we're still doing unison bends. All right, now we're going to talk about uni unison bends in the context of using vibrato with your unison bends. And what I mean by vibrato is I'm just, basically I'm just bending up and down quicker while I'm still sustaining the target note like this. <laughs> Let's move our target notes to the seventh fret, just because this is going to be a little bit easier for you guys that are completely new. All right, target notes on the seventh fret, bend number one with vibrato. Bend number two. Bend number one. Bend number two. Bend number one with vibrato. Okay, now we're going to move a target note up one fret. Target notes are on the 8th fret. Ooh, I'm hearing something weird going on there. Okay. Keep going. I know you can do it. If you want something, you got to really work for it. Okay. Okay, keep going. Target notes on the ninth fret, one fret up. There we go. Okay, now we're basically in E major pentatonic on this point. But if you haven't learned your scales, that's okay, you can still complete this video. Come on, baby. Keep going, you're almost there. Keep going, keep going. Okay, so we did a little bit of unison bends with vibrato, okay? Now, we have been focusing on our left hand, okay? Now, when we're, we're going to do a couple more unison bends on this exercise video. And this time, instead of just hitting the notes once, we're going to try to play both strings at the same time, like this. play with my hands, okay? I don't like using a pick, but if you have a pick, just use your pick. Try to hit both notes and sustain them. watch this video over and over again if you're really serious about learning how to play lead, okay? Because this is good exercise for your fingers. And it's excellent exercises for your ears. Because you got to match your bending note to your target note, which is perfect. One important thing is, is you got to tune your guitar, okay? And I'm also going to talk about some other things. If you're having a really tough time doing these bends, you might want to see how your guitar is set up, and most importantly, you might want to pay attention to what string gauges you're using. I prefer to use nines on, on my guitars, okay? Nines are considered to be light strings. Tens are difficult for me, and I've been playing 20 years. If, you, if you're using tens and you're a beginner, you should really think about using nines. Now, sometimes I like to even go as light as eights, okay? 
Uh, eights are going to make your guitar play really easy, okay? It's, the bends are going to be extremely easy to perform on a guitar that has a set of eights, okay? So if you're having a lot of trouble and your fingers are really hurting, I would suggest to put eights on your guitar. Alright, well thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you found this video educational for all you new guitar players out there that really want to learn how to play with me. Thank you. Goodbye.